Good afternoon guys, today I'm going to take a video about how to change a VVT oil uh, seal for the solenoid, VVT cam, um, camshaft sensor solenoid seal actually. Um, the thing is I was thinking it was the water pump which was leaking but you know when I opened the air box or the air filter assembly I found that it was leaking from the VVT solenoid so this is the this is the seal and it is uh, just uh, 14 dollars and some cents with tax it comes to 16 dollars or something so today we are going to see that how to change the seal so come with me and see how it is done So I dismantled most of the parts which are in the way. So this is a 1.4 uh, liter engine, a Chevy Cruze. It's turbocharged. So you can see that I removed the hose from the um, turbo to the air filter assembly. The air filter assembly is removed. So I was thinking that. The water pump was leaking but then when I opened it up and uh, looked at what was going on I found that it was leaking oil from this one so you see this is the uh, uh, VBT solenoid the one on the left and one on the right because this is a dual camshaft and uh, you see the camshaft uh, sensor connection and you see the oil leaking so I think this is a common problem with the Chevy Cruze and uh, you see it is uh, it has leaked all over the, um, the engine yeah. hopefully you can see that just keep the open vents covered in case something goes inside or something falls inside you don't want that to happen so I always make sure that I cover the holes and uh, yeah and now we are going to uh, replace the seal on this one and we'll see how it is done so guys uh, there is a sensor wire here so how do you remove that just there is a clip here just remove it okay. so guys there is a clip here just push it down and then press on it and then release it so this is the connector so once you remove that one you use E10 torx socket and uh, slowly remove this one these two bolts it's a special uh, bolt so we, we just went and got this one and the set is like twenty dollars I didn't have this one in my toolbox and uh, yeah this was leaking it was leaking all over the engine so I thought it was the water pump it was around the water pump although the oil was leaking 
water pump pehle hai itno no it was not the water pump it was this one this is the vvt sol model so what do you have to do we have to disassemble the engine okay. yeah that's what i'm doing i'm not disassembling the engine i'm just removing it you can just remove this one i just got the seal Uh, so, what's wrong with the seal? I don't know what's going on. It's kind of, it usually burns, or oh, probably it's burnt or something. I don't know. I have to check. Seal made sir. Yeah, I got this. So I'm just cleaning up the and uh, maybe small dust or something. We never know why it's leaking. It's just leaking from here. So I'm going to use some brake cleaner. So this is this is the o-ring. So this is what is leaking. So there are two um, bevel edges on this one. The solid one goes on the inside. So there is a small step like groove like thing. So that goes on the on the outside. I show you. So here we have the seal here, the new seal. So it looks same on both edges. I think it doesn't matter on this one. On the original one is kind of different. This one goes on the inside. The most solid one goes on the outside. Right? Yeah. It's a good idea to put some grease. Uh, that lubri plate on top before sliding it okay
அங்கதான் லீக் இங்கதான் இருந்துச்சு லீக் சுத்தி இருந்த லீக் இந்த இந்த பிளேட்டுல இருந்து அப்படியே ட்ரிப் ஆயிட்டது அது காமனான இதான் ஃபால்ட் இது ரெண்டுமே மாத்தணும் एक्चुअली இது ஓகே அதனால அது வாங்க ஒண்ணே ஒண்ணு ப்ராப்ளம் அடுத்தது வந்து ரெடிங்கிங் <laughs> so we are just going in the reverse order of disassembly and uh, how do you assemble this one so you have to be careful so you don't lose a yeah. so there is a to slide it in and this so this press press this one so that is all then there is a hose which we took off and connect that one the air hose which goes to the turbo charger the next one we are some of that one so whatever was disassembled you assemble in the reverse in the reverse order of us disassembly so that's it This is a 7 mm screw here this you start and tighten this one and uh, so we now we are going to connect the we've tightened the hose here uh so make sure that it is not uh, loose because it can suck in air from outside and if dust goes into this one the turbo charger will get wrecked and uh, again we connect this one it's too dusty so probably just clean it up a little bit and uh, connect it you have the click next click and do it and uh, yeah and we are pretty much done and what i did was i drain the oil from the engine so we are going to fill it up with oil now okay just to consume for so the engine takes exactly 4 liters of oil so i got four cans of synthetic 5w30 maybe the oil quality was bad so that might be one of the reason why it started leaking so what i did i got i went bought original 5w30 synthetic oil this is good for winter 
so the lubrication will be very good for the engine even when it is minus 40 it makes a big difference